thank you all very much. I want to thank uh, Marlene for those very kind uh, introductory words, and and Gary, Senator Simpson. Uh, it uh, the the only the only regret I have about uh, serving as minority leader is that uh, I was taken off the back row, where uh, where Gary, Colin Benini, and I used to uh, have a have a very good time. Uh, uh, plotting uh, how we could actually try to slow down the destruction of the state of Delaware. Uh, but uh, but uh, those are very kind words, and, and he is a, a great friend of mine. And, uh, and, and Judge, Judge Lee, Governor Bill Lee, uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going we're to take it to him, and we're going to try to bring the state of Delaware back. So to my family, friends, and neighbors, thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here as I bark upon a journey that I frankly never thought that I'd take, nor did I think that I'd ever need to take. You know, I grew up in Delaware and, and love it more than any other place in our nation. I love Delaware because it's always been a place where the citizens have had an opportunity to succeed. Partisan politics have been put to the side and special interests have been held at bay. We aren't New Jersey, we aren't Pennsylvania, we aren't Maryland. We are Delaware. And proud to hold on to our unique identity as the first state a small wonder. Today, however, the Delaware we grew up in is on the wrong track and our unique identity is threatened. Our citizens struggle as economic opportunity diminishes, employers leave our state, and educational achievement stagnates. Political games and answering special interests have become hallmarks in the offices of state government and taxpayers have paid the price. We have a state government that is too willing to ask for more of our hard-earned money to pour into a system that offers fewer results than ever before. And like so many of us, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the broken promises, I'm tired of the partisanship, and I'm tired of the gridlock. We need a change, and we need it now, before Delaware loses its identity, and our people lose their opportunity for a better future. And that's why, after much thought and consultation with my family, who were here, my wife Bonnie, Will, Stephanie and my niece Courtney are in the back of body. So after much consultation with my family, I am asking for the chance to be your next Lieutenant Governor. As a state senator for the past six years, I have witnessed firsthand what is going on in Dover and I don't like it. It seems that too many of our elected leaders and go to the state capitol and forget why they were sent there. They become captured by partisanship and special interests, and the result is gridlock. Our problems just get compounded and nothing is getting done. And you here at home are left wondering, what happened to Delaware? What happened to the state that I love, and why is it disappearing? And the answer is always just a finger point to the other party. And that answer just isn't good enough. There's too much at stake, there's too much to be done, and that is why I'm running for lieutenant governor. I don't take this step lightly, for I know the burdens that it has placed and will place on my family. If there were someone else running for this office with the unique qualifications that it will take to turn our state around, I would step aside. But as I look across our state, no one with the needed background has stepped forward, and so I feel I must. Because I can bring a perspective to our state that is sorely missing. I can bring the perspective of a proven and successful business person, someone who has actually created good paying jobs, developed budgets, cut waste, overcome obstacles, and made tough decisions in the real world. I can bring the perspective of a six-year state senator, someone who has served in Dover long enough to see the problems, but not long enough to become a part of the problem, and someone who has led the fight against the disastrous policies that have been leading our state down the wrong track. And I can bring the perspective of a community activist who has started or led initiatives that are making a tangible difference in the lives of underprivileged youth and in our environmental protection. And I can bring the perspective of a husband, father, and taxpayer to government, someone who lives the same lives as the people of Delaware and understands their concerns over the economy, job security, educating their kids, and more. No other candidate for lieutenant governor has my unique mix of experience, commitment, and qualifications. My opponent definitely does not. Because while I thank him for his public service, 
The fact is, he has been a part of the Minner administration, which is responsible for where Delaware is today. The worst economy in the nation and a second-tier educational system being strangled by a Dover-based bureaucracy. Delaware is at a crossroads. The challenges we face today as a state are greater than any we have faced in a generation. And this calls for people to step forward who have unique qualifications and an innovative vision to create new solutions to those challenges. We can continue down that same path, that same failed path, or we can choose a different direction. We can choose a direction where our problems are ahead, addressed head on, our economy is strong and new jobs coming to the state, and our schools, the envy of the nation. <laughs> to reach this future, I really see no party here. I am first a Delawarean, and I believe our state needs leaders who understand our people and that we need a new path. And as your Lieutenant Governor, I will meet the challenges we face, not by necessarily looking for a Democratic or Republican solution, but by looking for what makes best sense for the people of Delaware. We need a Delaware where job creation and economic growth are top priorities, so every working family has an, uh, has an opportunity for economic security, freedom, and success. We need an education system that finally fulfills the promise of providing our children with the skills that they need to thrive in the real world. And we need a Delaware to be a leader in innovation on alternative energy to help reduce our energy costs, spark an economic renaissance, and most importantly, protect our natural heritage. We need to reform state government so that honesty, openness, and accountability are more important than special interests and holding power among a select few. And we need to recognize that unchecked growth and development can have a negative impact on our state for years to come and we must have a balanced approach uh, to dealing with the growth to ensure that we do not in irreparably harm our environmental assets. You know, the lieutenant governor is an interesting office in our government. Citizens expect you to work with the governor, and I'm excited to work with Governor Bill Lee. And that loyalty as lieutenant governor only goes so far and I will not blindly follow for partisan political purposes. Instead, I will speak out as an independent voice, just as I have spoken out in the State Senate for the last six years against proposals or for proposals that are either Republican or Democrat. And to be an independent voice, a voice that is loyal to seniors, children, and working families, is much more important than any political party. And the times when I offer my dissent, I know I will look Bill in the eye and we'll have a good, open, honest, transparent discussion about what is best for our citizens in our state. Because it is often in our disagreements and our debates when the best ideas, the best solutions are found. So I stand here today and I ask for your support as a successful businessman with a unique real world experience and skills to turn around our economy. I ask for your support as a proven legislator who stood strong for the principles that we know put our families first. And I ask for your support as a husband and a father concerned with the education we give our children today and the future we leave for them for tomorrow. And I ask for your support as someone willing to put aside partisan politics to be an independent voice in the Lieutenant Governor's office, bringing balance to state government to achieve real world solutions for us all. Please join me as we put Delaware back on track and make our state better than ever before. Thank you, and God bless you.